Hey guys, welcome to On The Scene. I am Dando, we're at Aesthetic Studios and I'm joined by this very handsome and good looking band right here. They're gonna play their debut show this Friday at the Spotted Mullet, Mullet, correct? Spotted Mullet, yep. Mullet, yeah. They are the spirit. How are you gentlemen? Very well, and ladies. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen. Lady and gentlemen. So, um, I've been waiting so long for new tracks from you, sir. <laughs> well, what's, what's been happening for the last 12 months? Um, songwriting, a lot of songwriting, yeah. a lot of time in the, um, in the music room, uh, a lot of time away, just like kind of working on new material and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, maybe, when did we get together? Maybe like a few months ago, three or four months yeah, ago? So it's pretty fresh. fresh. Pretty fresh. Very fresh. Yeah, then we, then we put together the spirit and um, started, uh, started putting together all of those songs that yeah. I've been kind of working on and stuff and everyone's sort of just been chipping away ever since then. And yeah, we're finally, finally gonna let them out of the bag and play them on. Friday, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be really good, man. Yeah, really looking forward to it. From a fan perspective, I was broken hearted when Kick Hand split up. Ah, oh. yes. <laughs> I think everyone was broken hearted. Sorry. So, what 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 makes the spirit different from King Cannons in musically? Uh, well, we're all different people, I guess. Well, you know, it's a different still band. Mikey. Well, I still got Mikey. I mean, I'm still me, but I mean, like, you know, it's a it's a bit of a different sound, I think. Um, you know, the songwriting's probably changed a little bit as well. It's probably steering uh, away from you know, the more punk rock elements and stuff and, you know, leaning towards uh, a more roots flavoured uh, 70s Americana sort of style, things like that. And just concentrating more on songs and songwriting and, um, and more vocals and stuff like that to try and give it a bit more, um, a bit more texture. And, and uh, yeah, it just feels like something that I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. And, um, and yeah, I'm just glad that we're finally, you know, Done, put it together. Is, it, is this sort of like what you had in mind, say, circa 2012? I'd say probably earlier. Yeah. There, there were moments, you know, earlier towards, um, you know, towards the end of King Cannons where I was kind of wanting to do something like this with like uh, a bigger sort of like vocal blend and some stuff that wasn't as like rah 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 and like hard hitting as King Cannons was and something that was a little bit more, um, you know, delicate and refined and things like that and just having, yeah, more singing and and uh, more songwriting. I guess reach we we sort of took King Cannons down that track anyway. Yeah. Um, before we started like the brightest light and stuff. Like yeah, that. we tried to we we tried yeah, to do it. Post that stuff. Mm. How, how was the transition for you from uh, King Cannons to this? Interesting. This um this little project started out as Luke solo, sort of I guess venting all his ideas out that he'd had for the last year, um, and I wasn't on board straight away. Pretty similar how King Cannons started. Didn't, I wasn't didn't on board straight away. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Really that's true. similar. <laughs> um, and he asked me um, to kind of fill out the sound a little bit because it was a three piece originally, Luke and, and Phoebe and Matt. Okay. Uh, and I came on board and I liked doing it. Um, but, but I guess I wasn't really comfortable with the, the um, session musician sort of vibe. So um, I stepped back for a brief second and then about 30 seconds later we came forward as the spirit, the collective. And what would forever gone be without Mike in the other? The whole, you, you are the intro. That's a good point. Like that's a good point. It does, does make sense, you know, having Mikey on board for playing that song. It's just, yeah, I think we're all pretty happy with our group and, mm. you know, how it's all sounding, but like we're still really, really fresh. We've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes, but we haven't played yet. We've still got a lot of, um, we've still got a lot of work ahead of us, and it's an exciting time starting a new group, you know, like it's like a fucking clean slate. I like how you guys did it too, you were sort of just under the radar, then bang, you just came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I like, that's fun doing stuff, <laughs> doing it like that, I really like that. It's kind of like a good element of surprise and it yeah. makes it feel better when you put it out there as well, like being 100% happy with, you know, your initial impression um, to the world and stuff. I mean, we've all been in a lot of bands before, so we kind of know the ropes in, in, in that respect. But um. Yeah, no, it feels better doing it that way. I remember being at work and I work in the factory, so you're not supposed to have your phone out. But I had it out and yeah. I was on Facebook and I remember seeing it. I nearly shit bricks, I'm racing the toilet just so I can listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. And, and you liked it? Yeah, really liked it, oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have been worth shitting the bricks. Uh, <laughs> I asked my wife, I played it numerous times. Oh, excellent. Was it intimidating for you guys? Because King Cannons had a solid fan base trying something fresh with Luke. 
well, being, being like the new guys, you know what it I mean? It was, yeah, it was from ground zero. Like, I did not know anyone but Manon before this band started, like, okay. at all. We were strangers. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, um, I think that's the best way to start a band, like, get a bunch of people in a room together that are there to make music because they want to, rather than, like, I don't know, kicking around in your lounge room kind of thing. So, yeah, it's sort of, it was intimidating, but it was phenomenally successful. Like, mm. we haven't had a bad rehearsal, like, we just, it's really clicked together very easily. I think for us, like, um, it took, you know, there was a few weeks where we were just feeling each other out as well. Yeah. And yeah. getting the right vibe, and we'll even spend a... <laughs> we can be scary. Oh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I think we also exchanged a lot of music of the sort of vibe that we wanted to capture with this project. And, you know, even with the new songs, we kind of get more of an idea of what where we want to go with it more instantly than the earlier times. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's been a really, I, I feel like even with this project for me, it's brought out a different side of me in terms of the way that I play in this band. But you guys look like you're having a good time. Not what you got before. Well, that's good. That's the most important thing. Yeah. First and foremost, before anything that you do, recording good first impressions, any of that kind of crap, you've got to make sure that you're enjoying what you're doing because, you know, that's the main reward. It's going to be selfish to start with. If you don't like it, no other bastard's going to like it. You know. I think you've always been known for your live show, anyway. Oh, good. Well, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can still bring it with this. <laughs> with this, I reckon we can. You know, I reckon it's it's sounding pretty damn tight. And when we, I mean, when we got together, it was good to have common interests. Like, I mean, I remember talking to Phoebe and Mano and stuff like when I first met you guys, and we were talking about Paul Kelly, and we were talking about you know Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and stuff like that. Like, some really, really great songwriters of. The past kind of like 30 40 years and just connecting on that sort of level of you know human elements of music and stuff and just um you know still really trying to hone in on an honest way of making music i still feel like that's a really really important thing um and you know not not too much computer influence yeah. and just kind of keeping it fun and you know for lack of a better term Spiritual. You know, yeah. Are the songs still essentially you? Like you rewrite them and bring them to me? Yeah, I, I mean for this initial batch of songs I've, I've written a lot of them um, but I think in this group it's probably gonna um, be able to encompass everybody's songwriting um, as we go through um, our little journey but I mean initially like I said I've been working on that material for you know almost 12 months and stuff. A new single I heard over 12 months ago. So. Yeah well exactly and that, and so We've got another, you know, hours worth of material oh, cool. from there and stuff. So, That's and, we're, and we're always building on it. Yeah. So, um, who knows where songs are going to come from next? But they came from me initially. But who knows what's going to happen from here? You got an hours worth of material. So, does that mean it's an album coming out next or an EP? Well, um, I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to do. I think at the very least we'll probably aim to get an EP out this year. But um, you know, we're we're an independent band now. So okay. Like we don't have any um. You know, we don't have any label support Financial or anything backing. like that. So, yeah. you know, I work the same kind of job that you work. Yeah. And uh, and we're all still working day jobs and stuff. I think that's why I like your music so well because I can relate because you go going through the same thing as me. You know? That's right, man. It's it's you know I was out driving a truck around moving furniture today yeah. and everyone was at work today doing something and here we are making music and you're doing your thing and we're doing our thing and and like I said the most important thing is, is that we're enjoying that and. Um, and that's, you know, that's good living. Please keep doing your thing, because I appreciate it. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, we will, we will. We ain't, well, we ain't going nowhere. People think that uh, we, we were going to pack it up, or I was going to pack it up after King Cannons, and I did think about it, you know. I honestly thought I wasn't going to be a front person anymore, and I was kind of like looking for a, a female vocalist or something to do the lead vocal thing, and I was just going to take a step back and maybe just play some guitar, or, you know, I didn't really want to have that Role anymore. Be the face of the band. Yeah, yeah, well, all that kind of crap. And, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what happened. I think it was probably the support of all of these um, fantastic humans like around me. That, yeah, just, you know, bringing, bringing it back out of me again to, yeah, find the confidence to do that again. I think, <laughs> it's, paid, it's paid off. Yeah. I think as well there were moments even where Luke was like, oh, I don't think this is good. And we'd be like, nah, this is great. <laughs> You're wrong. B believe yeah. in this. Like, yeah. I think everyone has those moments when you make something, you instantly just think it's shit until people tell you it's good. Yeah, sort of. I mean, sometimes you know it's good and then everyone tells you it's shit or sometimes you think it's crap <laughs> and then, and then it, you know, if someone tells you otherwise and uh, you don't really know what to believe. I think you just have to really just find the, the, the truth in it yourself and, and believe with it and roll roll with it regardless. But 
yeah, I, I do need you know people like um, all you guys here to give me that sort of um, kick up the arse to keep me keep me in the game. You know. Are you guys scared to tell Luke when something he does not share? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no <they're not. laughs> Which is great. They make these guys make me work. You know, like I gotta I gotta work really hard um, because everyone is a fantastic musician in the spirit, and um, and it's really um, uh, it's really overwhelming to be working with everyone. It's so great, and so it makes me have to work really hard too to try and keep up with them. You know, and yeah. so we egg each other on. I think that's a really positive thing for a band. And what song are you gonna play live for us tonight? Um, we're gonna play a new song called The Wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which what is this about? Is this about personal experience at all or anything? Or just uh, something, something yeah. Every, everything like? everything's got seeds of personal experience in it. I think it's better not to know when it's actually meant anyway. Yeah. Really sort of create your own sort of meaning for this. There's song. there's, a, there's there's elements of real experience in anything that I put pen to paper with. But um but you'll just have to wait and see and you can interpret it however you like. I will do that sir. All before right. before then though, plug your gig for this Friday. Okay, we're, we're playing at the Spot of Mallow this Friday with Spirit and uh, it's going to be a great show. We've got some great support. Stephen Clifford from the Hello Morning is playing solo. We've got Steve Smythe, who's a great uh, great blues artist. Really, really amazing voice. Um, incredible, incredible sounding guy. And I think we're on what time? 10? Something like that. 10 o'clock, get on down there, come on, have a get feed. Get there early, the food is so good. Yeah, I hear, I hear the food's good. I don't know, I've never eaten there, but Phoebe tells me good burgers. So, yeah. We all love women that eat burgers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Alright, make sure you get down there guys and stick around because they're about to play the wounds. It's the spirit. What happened to us? 